tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton for Lotta, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fires in order to retain that title. Left hand punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Covington. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kamaru Usman. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Covington. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go Good now fight. with round two. Kamaru Usman. And that man, Colby covered. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, that's a nice strike. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive these over and over. you got to be careful here. you got to move. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Cummins. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Covington's going for a choke. Oh. oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choker. I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Usman. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. And that's the end of round number two. He should be defending right now. All right. Deep breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it. But he was so, so very close. He just tried to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. Single collar tie here. Usman's got the tie clinch now. Oh, uh, 
lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. The number is 91 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And landing at a pretty good clip, 75% accuracy thus far against Colby Covington. Usman gets the takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. Oh, nice guillotine there. There it is. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Oven St. Prue has got to like that transition there. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Usman's back in full mount. Covington's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Relax. Keep those hands high. Sound strike on the ground. I need you to get control of this wrist. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, nice. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. There it is. So he taps out oh, due oh, to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling. Move. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. Kamaru Usman! All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world, what a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar and So his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody, anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. He decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title.